Yo, what's the deal? It's your boy FAT on the beat, and you are now watching Team Rich TV. Well, I'm FAT, and I'm a producer. Let me show you how to make a bank roll. Let me show you how to make a bank roll. All I ever did was make a bank Man, I done recorded and made beats for uh, Go Gang, you know, Quincy Black. E-Body, um, I actually got uh, a placement with Cash Money Records, and d Meek is the artist, and I have another one with another guy that's named Lacrosse. Man, I got plenty more. I got B-King, which I'm with Texas Hammers, with B-King. Uh, Jade, can't forget my girl Jade. You know, there's a whole bunch of different artists, man. She pretty much everybody in Beaumont. If you ain't heard of me, then you must be another rock. Yeah, see, I want that money, this shit not a game. Yeah, see, I want that money that you want to find. Yeah. I'm pouring up pink cause it take away the pain. Yeah. I'm thumbing through hundreds, but we ain't the same. Yeah. Always been one of my biggest inspirations is Beethoven. I don't really have too many other ones. You know, people I actually know and I'm close to, you know. No B, for sure, you know, off the top. And my boy Mike Maven. That's like the two biggest people, like, that's my go-to people. I'm stuck and I don't know something and I need to know something, I'm going to them. One of them, them going to have the answer. So, so far, it's like, that's my top three inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Because no deep in the game, that's Red Shop, you know, Big Mo, all that, y'all should know already. My boy Mike Maven, he the one signed with Cash Money. So, you know, that's how I got the Cash Money placement. Like I said, you know, you got No D, Mike Maven, I got Jim B. You know, if y'all know who Jim B is, man, go look them up, please, bro. Because like, y'all done heard they beat. They like the top niggas in, in, uh, in Houston. They collab with uh, Lil Jew. That's uh, Megan Thee Stallion producer. That's the one that got her hot. I did like two tracks with him. D Bando, I done collab with him. B King, I done collab with him. They got uh, Marcus You Killing the Beat. I collab with him. Y'all might not know him, but if y'all listen closely to like Young Boy songs, you gonna hear Marcus, you killing the beat. That's, hey, that's what it is. Hey, take your big yo bitch. I ain't fucking with that nigga, wrote his face, cause see a trick, you wanna taste something? I got that Fiji over here, I got that water, Aquafina, bitch, it's breezy over here, fuck your ex, bitch, cause I am your next bitch. I don't want a ring, told his ass, buy me a necklace. I be on some fly shit, you little hoes be lame. Made her eat the pussy since she speaking on my name. Bitch, you are a thought box, I ride around in foreign, call it hot. Oh, fuck, I fuck up. Jade, of course, cause she, you know, I've been messing with Jay for the last year and a half, two years, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Before the beat king, before all that. You know what I'm saying? We've been working and shit. I got my boy Jay Reese. You know what I'm saying? We always gonna hear something. We we bump heads, but you know what I'm saying? We end up squashing that shit and coming together and, and making something. You already know who I started with was uh the Go Gang. You know what I'm saying? Ebody, DQ, all them. So. That, that's off top, you already know. I'm always doing their stuff. So pretty much anything they put out, you gonna pretty much hit my tag on it. Or I done had something to do with it, recorded it, something. I feel like, who wanna listen to a song that's just, you know what I'm saying, sound like shit? Which, depending on how you mix it, and how it's, the quality of it. You know what I'm saying, it may sound good, it may sound, it may not. But, you know, there's a loudness war going on, so you wanna hear it loud you know what i'm saying so if you go from one track and it's loud it's jamming it's pumping you got the, the kick the 808 all that shit jamming 
then you switch to a song that you made. No, they switch to a song that you made. Down the 808 week, your vocals week, it's low, they trying to crank it up, they all the way full volume. You know what I'm saying? They not gonna enjoy it as much. I guess they did like that, the other song. So it's, it's a loudness war, man. You gotta make your shit loud, put that lemon on there and crank that bitch up and make that bitch loud. So to me, that, that mix, it gotta be, you know, and I hate to go back and renege on the uh, on the last question, but the last question, like, you know, I forgot about uh, my boy JB's, because now that I'm talking about this question, that's, that's the shit we always talk about. And we always talk about like that quality, bro. Like, we've been talking about that shit for years, because I've been recording and, you know, making beats and everything for him for years. And we always say, man, that quality is, is what get him. Pouring up the serve, free the curve and low. I done pulled up a six, it got me swerving slow. Cause L's on my face, so you can't see I'm sleep. I let baby drive just so I can twist the sweet. Can't just depend on making your money off of music. You have to know that you're gonna have a limit. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody gonna buy your songs. Not everybody gonna fuck with you hard for the long run. So you have to have backups. You have to have other income. Like, that's just a stepping stone to get into the game. So once you in the game, then you just finesse that hoe. You gotta get other avenues. You gotta be able to, uh, you know, get on TV shows. You gotta have clothing lines. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have the clothing lines. You don't have, you don't have to have these things, but pick one, pick two. You know what I'm saying? Pick three. You know what I'm saying? And get it and, and go for it. Cause don't just settle for, oh, I'm a rap. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Don't just rap. Learn how to produce, produce some shit. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to engineer, engineer. You know what I'm saying? Do something that involves more with the music than other than just rapping. My role with Jay. Um, man, like I say, I, I've been best with her for, you know, a year, year and a half, two years, something like that. You know, before everything started jumping like talking about. You know, she'd come to the studio, record little songs, whatever, whatever. So, uh, basically, the album that she put out uh, before she went to jail, because she's still locked up right now, which I think is February, she'd be out 16th, I believe. Uh, I recorded it, like, recorded it, mixed it. So, basically, all the songs I heard on there, I recorded and mixed it. Now, track. Two is the one I produced, and I wouldn't really, I really wasn't planning on like, I wasn't even thinking about it, like just putting a track on there. You know, what I'm saying I was just letting them do a thing. I was just recording. You know, what I'm saying B King was like, "Hey man, let Jay come over there record. Man, I need her to have some good quality. You got some good quality. I like the way you mix." Da da da. I'm like, "All right, bet, cool." So, you know, what I'm saying, which Jay already knew she'd come record. I don't even know why she even went to that level, but anyway. Um, I wasn't thinking about even putting a, putting a track on her, but Jay called me and was like, hey, Fat, I need to, I need like a fast song or a dance song. And she say, and they was like, her and Hunger was in the background, they was like, yeah, do this song or do this song. And then all of a sudden they was like, redo that whistle while you twerk. And everybody was like, yeah, yeah, do that. I like, oh, okay. So I went to the drawing board, did that all, and you know what I'm saying? She was like, oh, yeah, 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 that's it. And she, you know, she did that. Um, you know, then we had that, that uh, <laughs> period poo. Yeah, I knew, I already knew, like, I said, this shit gonna be crazy. So in my mind, I like, I like recording. I just record. I like to have all kind of footage of shit just behind the scenes so you can always see and come back to it like damn this is where i started from or this is where they started from or you know what i'm saying just like for jay so she'll know where she started from didn't know that by me posting it that, that was gonna it was gonna go crazy like texas hammers nice head nice throat need a ratchet hoe who gonna drive that boat nice head nice throat looking for a ratchet hoe who gonna drive that boat period pull shit it was funny because people was in there like, 
what the fuck? Every time I'm uploading, I'm uploading videos, uploading pictures to everybody. So when I saw Sino going crazy, I really started uploading. Everybody like, oh man, they got a boat in the projects. What the hell? Oh, they got a ratchet. Look at them. Like, not knowing that by them doing that, hyping it up and sharing all my shit, not knowing that they were going to boost that video up even more than what it was when it came out. Because now everybody want to see what happened. Why is this boat in the project? Well, they know it was a video shoot, but they want to see, like, how the hell they going to do this? How, what, what the fuck is going to come out? Because this behind the scenes. So let me see the real video. And a lot of people was talking, oh, man, that's, that's ghetto, that's out of line, da 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 Then when the video came out, they were like, oh, that was actually cool. I like that song, da 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 Now they everybody becoming fans and shit. So, yeah, it, it, was, it was a crazy little movement, man. It was... You know, free my nigga Jay, man. She gotta, she gotta come back. We, we, we gonna get to it, cause uh, like I told B King, I got some new equipment. We, we gonna make this, make this next album live. It's, it's going all the way to this year, for sure. The label situation. Uh, it's really not a label. It's more of a producing team. So for what I was gonna go. <laughs> Texas Hammers is basically like just a, a group of producers that come together, help each other out, and just make records together. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm fresh to it, so I don't really know too much about it. But, you know, really, like I say, it's not a label. It's more like a, just a producing team. Just a whole bunch of producers getting together and being under one roof. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a label. It's more of a, a clique, should I say. Any advice for up and coming producers, man? Look, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Just make sure your shit hit hard, tune, and just have fun. <laughs> Don't stress yourself. Just have fun. I stressed myself for years. Just have fun with it. It's gonna pop, believe me. Oh, find an artist that's hot, that sound good, whatever you think. Make beats for them, give it to them for free. Make sure that shit sound good. Force them to put it out, and you can get some else. Yo, what's up? This is your boy FAC on the beat, and you've been watching Team Rich TV.